what are the signs and symptoms that you get after embryo transfer and that when you feel that okay you are pregnant this has become a success because to wait for 15 days is a big ordeal for patient the couple expects that they should have some signs and symptoms because it is a phase when you feel okay he loves me he loves me not means you are pregnant you are not pregnant so to coming to this you can have cramps you can have cramps you can feel like you are going to have a menstrual cycle but it is not going to start it is a normal uterine cramp that happens plus you can have implantation bleeding means spotting can come vaginally between 7th to 10th day 11th 12th day of your embryo transfer so it is pretty normal don't be scared you can have excess of gastritis gas formation what the patient says they they keep on belching or you can have increased frequency of micturition so these can be dubious also means you can have a infection also or it is normal also because of the pregnancy so any signs and symptoms you are having you should definitely contact your fertility team who has done your embryo transfer thirdly the patient who is having thyroid problems or who is having borderline hypothyroidism thyrotoxicosis their tsh levels start fluctuating their like blood sugar levels start fluctuating if you have got a tendency for diabetes or if you have got a tendency for hypertension your bp start fluctuating so these all things need to be monitored post embryo transfer and these need to be addressed but the majority symptom what the patient feels like they are having excessive vomiting or if they can feel anything in the uterus of baby moving that doesn't come believe me the vomiting will start after your 6 to 7 weeks of pregnancy and the fetus the baby fetal movements they start coming after 20 weeks so wait and watch it is not a miracle that it is going to happen immediately and you are going to have feel the perception the initial thing that we address and that we monitor are these are some of the signs and symptoms plus we do a beta hcg and we parallelly do a ultrasound so that we can monitor that how many sacs are there how the pregnancy is progressing so these are only the tools that we can do and practice after your embryo transfer we care about you